Hey traders, John Howell here we are. Getting the bump in the stock market today. We're getting the rally. The massive fear in the market, massive fear out there is causing this rally to happen, but I don't believe it's going to last. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into today's market update. Um, the, the, I just want to point one thing out before I get to the actual stock market and also get to gold and silver and oil today as well too, is the crypto market. I did a video yesterday, guys, putting out a warning um, with the crypto market. Uh, the really, really, really important things about the crypto market is that we could be getting ready for another big, a big move down. And if the, if, if the, if this Bitcoin chart I'm looking at right now, if indeed we, we, we're actually a very strong trend here. The, the warning that I did in yesterday's video is this is that if indeed Bitcoin does start to get a little down day like this and we start to get a close like that, then we're, we're at, we're at say, probably what's that called? 30,000 right now, okay? If we get something like that coming through here, then the next stop for, for Bitcoin is third is actually 20,000. So uh, if we do start to get that coming through, um, you know, maybe, maybe in the next couple of days, then that's going to be your warning sign to say, okay, we're probably going to head out, head head on down to twenty thousand. It may even happen as the, as the stock markets continue to unwind as well too. So, and we're getting like Ethereum. Ethereum's already starting to roll over as well too. Neo, uh, Neo is not there yet, uh, but Neo once again, if we if Neo starts to break below nine dollars, then looking at this one here, the next stop for Neo is down there at that five, that basically six dollar level. So right now, that ten dollars there. Uh, so it looks like for every $5 increments is a support and resistance level for that there. So there's a quick little update across there, guys, from the markets. And uh, make, go, traders, make sure if you are looking for some good trading systems to trade these markets, no matter what markets, very first thing in the description, you can grab my top four trading systems for $4. Plus, I got really some awesome bonuses. Plus, there's a bonus worth $1,000 in there as well, too. So very first thing in the description, guys, go, go check that out. Now, Let's go actually uh, check on the stock market. So the stock market, we're getting a rally right now today. All right, and I did a video a few days ago saying that the rally in the, that the massive fear in the marketplace is gonna cause a rally. And that's what we're getting, right? Here we go. So, but I don't believe it's going to last. We're not out of the woodwork ship. Yes, looking at the S&P 500, we can see that if I bring up my massive long-term weekly charts, we can see that on the S&P 500, we're definitely at this we're definitely having a good strong bounce where we are right now, very strong bounce where we are right now when it comes to the S&P 500, okay? Because we're at this made, there's all this resistance since 2012 back here to where we are now. That was major resistance. Now it is actually becoming support here. So we're getting a strong bounce, but we're not out of the woodwork shit, okay? So the thing that I'm really looking for is that yes, the short term massive fear we're getting in the marketplace is causing this rally in the markets. So we're getting this rally, we've got a bit of a double bottom here, right at that level of support. And then, but then as we start to rally up, we're probably going to get like a 50% retracement or, or probably somewhere around about that there. If we have a look at it from the, you know, when you're looking at the, uh, the, the, the Fibonacci retracements, is you can see from the high down through to the low and you can see here that looking back over this time here you can see how that that uh, moving down this 50 to 60 percent retracement level is, is 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 that is that point through there okay and as you can see this whole that that's the 50 percent level that's the 62 percent level now looking at this here as we can see we have this resistance here oh sorry no this 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 point right oh the yes <laughs> This is the 60%, this is the 50%, and that's actually a support level, that's a support level. So the purpose of me saying what I'm saying is that even if we do start to get a rally back up to here, which we're probably going to, there's a major confluence of resistance all through here, and the bear market is not over yet. Why? Because what is a bear market? Remember guys, let's actually keep it really, really, really simple. What is a bear market? A bear market is what? It is, a simple trend. That's that's what all about. And that's all really a crash is when you think about it, right? It's a trend. What is an uptrend? What is a downtrend? So an uptrend is what? Higher highs and higher lows, lower highs and lower lows. Let's just keep it really simple. Let's actually just remove all the fundamental analysis for a minute. 
And let's actually bring it back to what we know about the market. And let's actually just look at this here, right? What is it? What is a down market? Oh, it's a high. It's a lower high. It's breaking up the lows. And then what do we do? Lower high, lower high. Now we're getting what? Double bottom, aren't we? Now something's changing on the short term here, right? But is there a higher low? Are we getting higher lows yet? Not yet, right? So that's what we need to wait out for. If the market is going to start changing soon, it'll give us some sort of higher low. It'll start to do something like this. It'll come up through here. It may even rally up to there. Then it may pull back. And then it may do something like that. And then we may get something like that. Then the market, the tune of the market is changing. For whatever reason, we don't know why. Our best analysis is to be present with what the market is telling us. And especially if you're a trader of the markets, firstly, you need to be trading a system. Again, go get go get my full trading systems and just pick one of those systems and you'll do well. But um, the thing about the markets, right, is we need to be present with the markets. And especially right now, please be patient. Don't be jumping in and jumping out. The market is so volatile right now. The most important part is just to re be patient and wait for the markets. But, the, but this here is... We need to be, have a probability on your side of now a trend starting to form, okay? Don't be trying to fight a trend. Yeah, we've got a bit of a double bottom, but let's see if we can start to get like a bit of a higher low breaking past previous highs. Even if we had, the, even if we, even if we don't buy it here, all right? Just say we're trying to buy it here because we're trying to pick the bottom, right? But then guess what? That may happen as well too, right? We may get another leg like that coming down. Um, and then so therefore like, oh, I missed the bottom, right? So, and then this one here, you may have a probability of 20%. 20% probability right now that, that this is the bottom here. But then if we started to get a higher low breaking past previous highs, even though we didn't get the bottom, if we start to get this pattern here, that's a higher low breaking past previous highs, now we've probably got a 70% chance, at least a 60% probability on a low scale, 70% chance on a medium scale of actually having a successful trade. Why? Because we're waiting for the market to turn around. Makes sense? And this is actually a really, really, really big thing. Like even back last year, what was happening back last year, look at this here. It's just waiting for the markets, right? We had a high, lower high, a low, bit of a double bottom. But look what happened here. We had a lower high, we had a higher low and broke through. Who? Who started to come in here? The buyers, right? And then guess what? We started to break past previous highs. See how if you try to buy it here and buy it here, yeah, that that may be the bottom, right? But look at this here. The smart idea was what? To buy it here when we started to get what? That higher low. The buyers are telling us they're coming back in. It's just the way the markets work, guys. Go back and back test your charts. You'll be able to see the trend is your friend when um, you know until the end. Looking at the Nasdaq as well too. The Nasdaq has is definitely at a major, major, major bottom through here. We looking at the Nasdaq though, we actually do have one. We have this very big sort of long term sort of uh, pattern in the markets here. Uh, but looking at these markets here, uh, looking at the the Nasdaq, we can see that there is definitely a major level of resistance. So we may even get a bit of a strong rally out of this here, back up towards say the thirteen thousand level on the NASDAQ, but remember traders, this is just, this is a, the major fear in the marketplace is causing the rally, but will it last? And and we're probably gonna get more of a rally out of this here, right? Because we're now we're getting a double bottom and we're getting a double bottom through here at this sort of bottom, at this other side of the channel. So we're probably gonna get a rally, but this is, this remember, remember traders, this is not the, this is not the start of a big bull market, okay? If it is, let the market tell you, because we, we there's a probability of us doing that just like we did here, and then guess what? We start to roll over. Now, if for some reason that doesn't happen, just wait for, the, okay, just be patient, okay? Just be patient. If you wanna buy the market, wait for something like this. It may come down, and then we may get a big break up through, something like that, right? Something where we're starting to create this low, this major higher low, and then guess what? We're starting to get the move up from there. Let's go have a look at gold today. Gold, um, again, the the warning sign that I put out with gold last week is that we had this very strong move on the downside. So we had this very strong selling leg down through here, but notice how this buying leg through here, what? See how it's very, we're not getting any strength, right? There's no, there's no, big, there's no big buyers coming in. So that's actually a very big warning sign about what's happening there with, with uh, with with gold, but also silver as well too. I talked about silver last week, um, or actually or over the last couple of weeks. I've been saying with silver that that this is actually a warning sign. I'm looking at the four hour chart right now. Okay, traders, hear me out. I'm looking at the four hour chart right now, and you can see on this four hour chart that there is a major level of support on this four hour chart around that level through there. And what that level is is uh, what do you got that there? Twenty one sixty, right? Twenty one sixty. Yeah, 
21, 20, the 21, 21, 21 dollars and 60 cents level. We're flattening out through here, okay? We're flattening out on this big move up, we're flattening out. Now, the, the move here, the danger is this, if we start to get a breakdown from here, if for some reason silver starts to get something like this, like a big breakdown like that, guess what? Now, it's now there's a high probability we're going to get down to here. That's just the way the markets work, guys, right? If you, um, there's a high probability. But, we'll, but what are we doing here? We're just trading with the trend. If you look at the, if you look at the, uh, if you see that's the four-hour chart, but if you look at the daily chart, what is the daily chart telling us? The daily chart telling us is that there that there hasn't been any higher low yet, right? We've had a move down. We've had a move up. We could be getting ready for what? Just another double bottom, just like just like the market's done recently, right? This is just, it's just the same thing. We could be getting ready for the bottom, but we're not getting confirmation there yet. Remember what I said before? The the big trend here on the daily charts is doing that. We're starting to look at the four hour charts of this going sideways. Uh, and then if we drill down even more onto the hourly charts, we can see, actually, let's just go back to the four hour charts for a minute. We can see that we're, we're struggling through here. Now, I'm not saying it's definitely going to break down, guys, like, I don't know, but the confirmation to tell me that this is probably now going to start start to make a move back down towards the low twenties is a is a strong four hour bar breaking through there because that's telling me now we've had this sideways movement and if we do get that then that's going to be pretty dangerous for the markets through there. Let me have a quick look at the interest rates here and the interest rates are definitely causing uh, causing a little bit of a bounce in the markets and we actually we're, we're definitely slowly making our way down uh, on the interest rates. We're slowly sort of breaking out through here. Um, the interest rates are actually very quite quite this uh, this this selling leg. I thought it would have been would have been a bit stronger. So we're not actually getting sort of strong sellers uh, through there. Um, and also looking at the ten looking at the ten year as well too. Again, we're starting to slowly go down, but we're not getting any we're not getting any strong 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 sort of buying legs through here. So maybe just maybe guys, um, this inflection point that I've seen in the interest rates, and I do expect to see more downside. Maybe that's we're not going to wait. Maybe we're not going to be getting um, su such a big leg on the interest rates because maybe all this is doing is just giving us a nice pullback to make a low, a higher low, a higher low, and then another higher low. And then if we start to get a break, especially if we start to get a breaking above that level there, which is like you can see this like, like a bit of a triangle pattern. If we get that through there, then maybe that's the interest rate's gonna happen and maybe the interest rate is gonna continue up a lot more from there. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens uh, from there. So there we go, traders. All in all, um, the, the big theme I really wanna to stress to you is that one, make sure that you are trading some sort of a system or pattern. Right now, the market is gonna chew you up and spit you out. Um, so please just be patient, okay? Be patient. If you have to sit on the sidelines for a month or two and not do anything for a month or two and just watch the market unfold and wait for some really good setups, then I promise you, you're going to be such a happy camper. So let's actually go, let's actually, let's actually make sure we're staying patient, guys. Stay calm. Remember, the market's always going to be here. The question is, will you? So traders, before you go, if you're after some good trading systems, then this is for you. Four trading systems for just $4. If you go to johnsflashsale.com, you can actually grab this right now, this bit of a sale that I'm running right now. And here's what you're gonna get in this here. You're gonna get the blast off trading system, the ultimate trading system, the ultimate trading system advanced, the powerful short-term trading system, the most successful options trading strategy on the planet. This is so successful that it doesn't matter if the market goes up 20% or down 20%, you still can generate an income. You're gonna get access to a brand, a brand new live training that I'm doing as well too. Also a massive secret bonus. This is worth $1,000 as a secret, but I can't tell you what it is right now because it's a surprise, but wait till you see this. This is, this is, this is gonna help you build a bridge to where you are right now, to where you wanna go when it comes to your trading. So. Go to johnsflashsale.com right now. Go over there right now. Grab this for $4 and I'll see you real soon.